And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. First pitch moments away. Starting on the mound in this one, Cole Reagans. How about a report on him, Chris? Well, oh, you know this guy wants to be better than that. I mean, the ERA is bloated. He understands that he's got to put his team in a better position to win ball games. And at this point, you have to forget about your own individual stats, and you have to go out there and attack and try to get that W. And if you do that, you'll look up, and most likely that ERA will have dropped over time. All right, ready to get underway. And now for Seattle, J.P. Crawford. Pitch is in there, and that's how this game gets started. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Got him looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. And now, Ty France. That one's in there, 0 1. Ty France, a pretty cool story. A 34th round pick in 2015 out of San Diego State. And in 2022, he was an all star. One down, base is empty. Tapped in front of the plate. Over to low. Oh. Two away here in the top of the first. Batting third, the center fielder, number 44. Julio. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-1. And he got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. That to right. He's got it, and that'll do it. It's the Mariners nothing. Rangers coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at the ballpark, and on the hill, the big righty, Chris Flexen. And Chris, he's a guy that gets better when things get tough. Yeah, he's definitely had a struggle so far this year, as evidenced by that inflated whip, but he's going to have to find a way to limit the base runners, put his team in a position to win a ball game. So we know he's prepared. We know this guy is a competitor, and we'll watch how he works in this one. Bottom of the first. Here is Marcus Simeon. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And Simeon is out. And there's one down. Batting second. second. The, the shortstop. Short Corey. Corey. Seeger stands in Seager. now. Singy, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. Yeah. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. Right-hander kicks deals. Struck him out swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Batting Bat third. third. Nathaniel Low up to hit. Nathaniel Low. First Whoa, offering and it just out. misses. Kicks and fires. Got it started a little too early. Oh, strike one, strike. one. Bounced out to short. 
Crawford throws to first in time. Three up, three down, inning over. We head to the second in Arlington. No score. And welcome back. And now here's the veteran DH, Teoscar Hernandez. Hernandez. The wind of the pitch. Just That's off outside. the outside part of the plate. Out towards right center field. And that gets down into the gap. Around first, heading for two. And he's there with a leadoff double. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Here's Jared Kelnick. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Hernandez stands at second with no outs. Now oh, one and one. Umpiring behind the plate for us today, Boog, is Mike Fillmore, and he is a good one. He'll reward pitches on the edges a little bit, but the main thing is he doesn't keep you guessing. Once you establish that a pitch is a strike, it stays that way. Come on, let's go, Late that time, one and ball. it's strike two. two strike. Yeah, Fillmore, kind of, I don't know, you'd say maybe an umpire's umpire, but really consistent, very fair. Next pitch just misses, and that's ball two. And now the lefty pitch misses, three and two now. In the air, left field down the line. Duran pulls it in, and there's one away. Batting fifth, the third baseman, Eugenio Suarez. Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. Pitch misses inside, and that is ball one. He swings and fouls one off. Kicks and deals. That misses off the outside edge. Runner at second here, one gone. Reagans picks over, and he's back in safely. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Three, two. That's down and in. Stays alive. Second inning here, no score. The 3-2 oh, cool. is Thank off the right. outside edge, and that is ball four. Got a great back and forth in that at bat. He had to lay off some really close two. pitches, and uh, somehow, Boogie, found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Now it's Tom Murphy, and he swings oh, and misses at the initial offering. Now a pop-up on the infield. And yeah, the Better infield down. fly rule call. A.J. Pollock at the dish. Right 
Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate. Runners stay put. That's ball one. And here it comes. That's a strike. One and one. Yeah, that skips in the dirt. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Ripped into left for a base hit. Heading for the plate. Here's the throw. And they strike first as they take a 1-0 lead. Well, he comes through clutch with the RBI single. That was big. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. So first and second with two outs. And stepping in for the Mariners, Jose Caballero. And that one fouled off. First and second, two down. Gets under it and pops it up. Simeon makes a nice run and catch. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. And the home team down a run. Back after this on the show. Bottom half of inning number two. Now at the plate, Adolis Garcia. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Flexen back to work. And there's a curve through for a strike. Well, we call that keyholing. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. And a foul ball. It's so hard to slow yourself down when you see that juicy breaking ball, but the most success happens when you try to take that right ball, back up the middle approach. The why to kick the pitch. Just misses with that one. It's a good take. Off the mark okay. there. And it's a full count. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. Aye. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Yeah, that's a tough pitch to stay on. You don't want to get beat inside. And as you see that pitch continue to run away from you, by the time it's in the catcher's mitt, you think it's a ball yeah. off the plate away. Here's Josh Young. Yeah, the first well, offering is not close, Flexen. He isn't really known as the starting pitcher that's going to get you deep into the start. It's not that he's not capable. He just hasn't proven that he can do it yet. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. He's got such great stuff. You just don't know from start to start whether it's a potential no-hitter or it's a guy that's only going to give you three hey. or four innings. In there. And so now one and two. But for the most part, with that kind of stuff, you expect him to get to the middle of the ball game. Just so off the off outside the corner. Ball two balls, two strikes. And what about analytics? Because one of the ways it seems like they've contributed to the trend is it's not just about are you capable of getting deep, that now no, focusing on the numbers, maybe the matchup is better with a different guy as the game goes on. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Off to a strong start, Singy, Batting as he's punched it. out three of the that first five he's faced. Well, he's Yoda. definitely minimizing contact. He can get the swing and miss when he needs it, but he'll also keep the defense fresh behind him, allowing some balls in play as well. Two outs. That's in there. Only a handful of pitchers can go through an order three times, maybe even four times, and 
the analytics have contributed to that trend, but I think there are some guys given an opportunity right. may be able to show that they can be a third or fourth time through the order type of pitcher. Three. Struck him out looking with the off-speed stuff. Rangers go down quickly there, still behind by a count of one to nothing. Top half of the third inning. Here's the Mariners' leadoff man, J.P. Crawford. J.P. Crawford. Reagan's back to work. Crawford measures six feet two inches, 200 pounds, and he's a former Gold Glover in the American League. All in one now, and fouled off. Oh, and two now. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. We're going to take a look at the pitch sequence of that at bat. And the now thing to notice are the pitch the locations. Pitch. Every All single right. one of them on right, the right. edges of the strike zone. And as a hitter, that can be pretty frustrating because you don't expect a pitcher to be able to make quality pitches one after another like that. And so those are tough spots to do damage in a great demonstration of pitch command. And it got him a punch out that time. Inside, France at the plate for the second time as he takes ball one. 0 for 1 so far. The 1 0. In there at the knees. So now 1 and one 2. Ball, two strikes. And a pitch. Got him looking as the fastball runs back over the inside corner. Tasked with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no trouble so far. I'm sure he'd love to strike out the side here. Make a little statement, but you got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. You got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with a base runner. Could become dangerous. Rodriguez stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Next offering is in for a strike. Julio Rodriguez, you're talking about one of the top young players in all of baseball, Chris. So talented, a rookie of the year, an all-star, and a silver slugger. And what I love about this kid is that he's all about the team. As much talent as he has, he could be focused on his individual numbers, but you can tell the way that he plays the game that they feed off of his energy. Two strikes. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And he hits a ground ball right side, and that's just foul. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Nobody left for Seattle, but they hold a 1-0 lead. As we go Lead to the off. last of the, the third, Rangers. Mitch Garver up the to hit here. Mitch. Mitch Garver. The pitch. That one fouled off. Garver, 32 years old, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in New Mexico. Garver checks his swing. Now an appeal to first. Did not go. The wind and the pitch. And that's Two downstairs balls. and One outside. Strike. That's off three. the mark. Three balls and a strike. This doesn't three seem balls. to want to throw him a fastball. The pitch. And three now two. it's filled up. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. 
I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. And now here's a speed threat outfielder Ezekiel Duran. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed but he can absolutely move and it is a factor in his game. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the oh, fact that they're time. consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Hey. There's a strike. I got one ball. Garver one aboard here at first with nobody out. Nope. Next offering is down low, and it's two and one. Late swing fouled off. Now all even up. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Pollock in pursuit. He's got it. And there's one away. Batting up. The, the center fielder. Leody. Tavares. Here's Leody Tavares. A little roller up along first to Crawford for one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. So the lineup flips over. Now it's Marcus Simeon. Fly to left his first time up. Runner, yes, yes. Runner on the go. There's a ball. And that's a stolen base, not even close. Well, that steal right there is wanting to take advantage of having a really good hitter at the plate. Now they've got a much better shot at bringing home a two-out RBI. Two outs and one in scoring position. And now two and nothing. And there's a foul ball. Two and one now. Inside ball. Corey Seager in the on deck circle, hoping to get a chance to make a big impact here. The 3 1. And he walked him. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. So now it's Corey Seager. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. That one ran inside, almost got him. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. And a foul ball makes the count two and one. Righty to the plate. That, that misses. Ball. Now three and one. Nathaniel Lowe waits on deck. Three two now. So both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie up this ball game. See if he can find some open grass in the outfield. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Left hand hitter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. Pollock in pursuit. Brings it in. And that is that. So they strand a pair. Three innings complete. It's the Mariners one and the Rangers nothing.
Welcome back. John Chambi with Chris off, Singleton and set Definitely to lead off the fourth, Teoscar Hernandez. 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 The pitch. That's through there for a strike. Well, these Mariners showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. And one and two. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Fights that one away, still one and two. And it's nope. even up. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. Next offering misses, and the count is filled up. Out of line, out towards center. Into the dive, and he got it. This dive wasn't the result of a bad route, Singy. The only reason he made the play is because his route was so good. No doubt, Boog. Statcast tells the same story. I mean, he got to his spot as quickly as you can possibly get there, and he had to in order to have a chance at that diving play. Just special. Stepping in, Jared Kellner. In there for strike one. There's the swing in a miss. Two is the count. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. Garver with oh. the throw to first. Two quick now outs here in the top of the fourth. Third base base. Eugenio, Eugenio Suarez. Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now. He reached out a walk his first time. And that's in there at the knees. All one's the count. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 oh, oh, right. now. Ahead 0-2 oh, in the count, sure, you've got four pitches you can work with, but throw something you can command and get this at bat over with as quickly as possible. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and miss, and you walk off the field. Back here at the ballpark, and now the first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. The first baseman. Nothing. Nothing. Low. Low. The right hander back to work. And there's the strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Next offering is in for a strike. Oh, okay. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. Left hand batter waits. Got him. And one away. Well, he just went right after him there. No messing now around with the off speed right stuff. Field. Here's my fastball. If you can hit it, go for it. Three fastballs. See you later. Definitely builds your confidence out on the mound. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Suarez hauls it in, and there's two away. Got the pitch that he wanted, just a little bit quick. Front shoulder yeah. open, backside collapsed yeah. a little bit, and the launch angle not where he needed it to be. So two down now, and here is Josh Young. Went down on strikes his first time through.
High fly ball, shallow right field. Kelnick brings it in for the third out. And the Rangers set down in order. They still trail 1-0. New inning getting started. Leading and now the catcher runners. comes up to him. Tom Murphy. Tom Murphy. Here comes a pitch. That clips the zone. That's strike one. And it's through for a hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff knock. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. A.J. Pollock up next for the Mariners. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Murphy on at first. Nobody out. He's going. Run around the goal. Swing and a miss. One ball, one Throw to second. Ow! Well, I think that was a hit and run right there. When you look at how far that pitch was out of the zone and the hitter still trying to put wood on it, put it in play, that tells you that they had something going. But unfortunately, it was a good job of execution by the pitcher and the catcher to get that out of the zone and then throw out the runner at second base. Really nice job behind the dish. The 1-1. One, one. That one Three missed. Balls, one strike. That's Off the, the mark there. And now three balls, three balls and a strike. strike. Ripped, but it curls foul. Payoff pitch. Good job to fight that one off. The 3-2 nope. is ball off four. the outside edge, and that is ball four. Very close off the outside corner. Could now have easily that. been called a strike in that location. Jose. And stepping in Caballero. is the speedy Jose Caballero. Flied out his first time. That one misses, Help and it's one, one and zero. Oh. And a pitch. And now one and two. One ball, two strikes. And he deals. Got him. And two away now. J.P. Crawford gets a chance to hit. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Crawford. In the air right field. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Mariners leave one. They lead it one nothing. And welcome back. Bottom of the Lead inning the at the play. Jonah Heim. A designated hitter. Jonah Heim. And the right hitter back to work. Bounding ball here. Rolls foul. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Can't connect on the curveball, struck him out. Not a great curveball there at all, but clearly he wasn't looking for it because it just dropped right into the happy zone. And it looked like to me the swing was a little bit late. Tells me he gave up on it early and then just tried to have that emergency hack at the last second to put it in play. So digging in, Mitch Garver. 
Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. That just nope. misses. Outside. Ball one. Mitch Garver, one of the rare Major League players who hails from New Mexico, and one of the other ones, pretty good player. Third baseman for the Astros. Garver grew up playing with Alex Bregman as a kid. Hey. That's in there. And it's one and one. Carl, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. Whoa. Next one misses, two and one. Two one strike. The Rangers hitless so far in the game. That one inside, Ball, three balls and a strike. There's a strike. And boy, that was the pitch. 3 1. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. High fly ball, pretty well struck out towards right center. Bangs off the wall. And the tying runs at second base with a double. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. One out, runner at second. Ezekiel Duran getting ready to hit. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Hit in the air, right field. Kelnick under it. Hauls it in for the out. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, no, but a competitor no, like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Laoti Tavares digs in now. 0 for 1, he hit into a fielder's choice his first time. And downstairs. Yeah. Swing and a miss. And it's one and one. And a curve misses outside. Garver at second with two down. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. And now it's filled up. Marcus Simeon to bat next. Swing and a miss struck him out. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Top six, now the number two hitter, Ty France. Number 23, Ty France. The pitch just nope, missed. And yeah, there's the strike. Ripped on a line to center. Tavares makes the grab one down. The center, the center fielder, fielder, number 44, Julio, Julio Rodriguez, Rodriguez. Up next for the Mariners. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And he swings and misses, and it's oh, nothing yeah. and one. One of the things that's cool is Rodriguez, even as young as he is, has formed kind of a neat relationship Oh, with Ichiro the Suzuki. They met back in 2019 when Julio asked to take a photo with Ichiro, and the relationship has grown since then. The wine of the pitch. 
second That's account one and two. No, no surprise that as a kid, Julio Rodriguez two, says he admired Alex Rodriguez, Manny Ramirez, David Ortiz, and Ichiro Suzuki, among others, as far as guys he looked up to in the big leagues. And those are some pretty good players, in my opinion. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. One, two now. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And there are two outs. And now Teoscar Hernandez. And remember, he was absolutely robbed of a base hit last time up. Hernandez, in his sixth season, 30 years old now, and he's won a silver slugger in the American League. In there, and it's 0-1. Oh, well, they say it's down. the best pitch in baseball. Strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. Gives you a little bit more confidence to move to the at-bat. And a foul ball. Next pitch in the dirt. Two and a count one and two. And that's outside. outside. That's two two now. And that's outside. Three and two. And there's that's ball four. four. Take your base. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a the very right aggressive secondary 10. lead. So a ball Here down the is. line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Kelnick, the well, next to hit, quick. takes outside. Activity in the Rangers bullpen. Jonathan Hernandez, the right handed sinker baller. He looks to be readying himself. Burke, a left hander, also throwing. And the pitch. In the dirt. Not in time. He's safe. So a wild pitch allows the runner to advance. Runner at second. Two down. Next ball pitch three. downstairs. And that's ball three. A. Eugenio Suarez on deck for the M's. Here's a 3 0. Yeah. On the corner for a strike. Three, Swing two. and a miss. Runner leads away at second. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Well, this is a good time to step out of the box, take a deep breath, reset. Couple of change ups. Probably won't see another one here. Line drive. Makes the play, and it's out number three. One left for Seattle, but they still lead it 1 0. Well, we go bottom six. Go. Now it's the second baseman, Marcus the Simeon. Baseman. All these fans definitely want to get. Involved in the game, all it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. Ball and one. the first pitch misses for ball one. And the right hander deals. Left field. Pollock makes the grab one away. The batter, batter number five. five. Shortstop, Corey. Now it's Corey Seager. Seager. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging too. And first offering is fouled off. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power. But then 
if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. Right-hander kicks deals. Three. Got him looking. And there's two away. Chris, third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, no, he's no, been no, very no. frugal First today. Three. Economical no, no, with the pitch no. count. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. And the righty deals. And that one upstairs. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss, struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nothing doing for the Rangers, and it remains one nothing. Now a right-handed arm out of the bullpen, Jonathan Hernandez. He last pitched two days ago. Jonathan Hernandez. And now for Seattle, Eugenio Suarez. Eugenio Suarez. The pitch gets the call. Strike one. Well, these Mariners, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They've hit seven line drives already, and even though some of them have been for out. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. Eugenio Suarez blasts one out. His seventh home run of the season. And they tack one on the board. It's 2-0. With this guy's velocity, a changeup is really a break for a hitter. He got a BP fastball, didn't move a whole lot, and he absolutely tattooed it. So here's Murphy now. And that one just oh, misses a ball and no strikes. The 1-0. Swings through that one. one, one. Big-time jam right there. I hate it as a hitter, but standing in center field, you can't help but chuckle a little bit. Aye. That one catches the zone. That is strike two. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing plate. Righty delivers. Fouls it off, still one and two. The pitch. Swings through it for the K. Slider got him for strike three. Well, that's always the key no, no, no. to effective no, no, no. pitching is getting ahead EPA. in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Pollock lays off down low as he digs in for the third time. Next pitch is outside. Kicks and fires. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Back there. On the warning track. 
and hauls it in. Well, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. Caballero oh, up to hit for the third time as he lays off inside ball one. Swing and a miss. And a count even at one. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Next hey. offering is in for a strike. And a ball Good evens the count. This one popped up. Simeon has this one sized up. And that ends the inning. Solo Blast adds to the Seattle lead. And it's two zip. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Set for the last half of the seventh, leading off Adolis Garcia. He's a guy Chris's highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms in the sport. First offering misses the mark. Yeah, the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance, he's going to throw it from the warning track if he has to. Next pitch is inside. Now 2-0. That ball misses. Three. three balls, no strikes. Ball, Movement in no the bullpen. Strike. Number 33 appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Festa getting loose as well. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Late swing, fouled off. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Righty to the plate. High fly ball down the left field line. Pollock ranges back, and gone! Adolis Garcia blasts one out. Home run number 15 on the year. And they slice into the lead. It's 2-1. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself at bat after at bat. He's that confident. When you're lacking velocity, it's so critical that you move the ball around, change speeds, even try to trick the hitter at times. But when you give up a home run right there, Manager doesn't have a lot of patience because the velocity is not there to overcome and get the swing and miss. And here comes the Mariners manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. Chris Flexen done for the day and a nice effort out of him, no doubt. New arm coming on. We'll be back for that. So out of the bullpen for the Mariners, Justin Topa. He's into the game with the bases empty. Justin Topa. Here's the third baseman, Josh Young. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh oh Swing and a miss. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. Oh. 
Jonah Heim stepping in for the Rangers. And that's in there for strike one. The tying run at the plate. Swings and misses. No ball, two oh, a two now. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late one right ball, now. And that one moves his feet. The one two. Fouled off the plate. They'll do it again. Next pitch is outside. Oh, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Popped up. Crawford under this one. Puts it away for the out. Now batting. The catcher, the catcher. Mitch, Mitch Garver. Garver. Mitch Garver, the next to hit. Drove it off the wall last time. Just missed out on a home run. Little chopper rolls foul. At the belt and fires. Foul ball. The next pitch misses. Now one and two. Good eye right there. Next offering way off the plate. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. And he grounds one back up the middle. Inning over. He's out. The Rangers edge closer on this solo homer. And this is now a 2-1 ball game. Welcome back. We're at the top of the eighth and stepping in for the Mariners, J.P. Crawford. Crawford. Hernandez back to work. Ball one. Good eye right there. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Kicks and deals. That That's misses the zone. Two. Now two balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike. Yeah, Foul ball there. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. Ah. And down on strikes he goes. First out in the top of the eighth. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Base hit, center field. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Nope. Rodriguez Outside. in the box here, lets that one go for a ball.
The pitch. Yeah, That's there's a ball. Through. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. That one oh, missed. That now three and zero. Oh. There's a strike. That's a strike. Now three and two. Thank you. One run game, one out, one on. Good plate ball appearance ball. there. Able to take the walk. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Now, Man, now, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. First pitch, not close. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. France at second, Rodriguez at first, one gone. On the ground, a short could be two. Glove flip That's for out. one. Ow! The double play ends the inning and might have saved the game for them. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn, and they're out of this jam. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, number 33. Well, the best Ladies relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. And here it comes. Duran in the box now, takes strike one. Not sure if he was expecting for the pitcher to come right at him, but he got a nice cookie there and just watched it the entire way. Here comes the one. Swing and he popped it up. Makes the grab on the run. One up, one down. Couple of pitches and a quick out. The center fielder, number three, Lee Hody. Leody Tavares stepping in for the Rangers. And the first oh, pitch misses down. for ball one. Some activity in the Mariners' bullpen. Paul Seawald appears to be getting ready for manager Scott Service. Slapped foul. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. The wind of the pitch. And he chases that one. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. No oh, no really no went three. aggressive second in with that slider. Three. Good two-strike pitch right there. At worst-case scenario, three. it's weak contact in play. Exactly where he and the catcher wanted it. Marcus Simeon stepping in for the Rangers. That one inside. Oh, inside. One and oh. And that's in for a strike. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. On the ground to the left. And it goes just foul. Very solid inning on the mound so far here in the eighth. Holding on to this narrow lead. This is exactly what they were looking for. Off the outside edge, and now the count is two and two. Three. He goes down looking. One, two, three, go the Rangers. And our score remains 2 1.
we're back. Attention. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Brock Burke. Number Bringing in the lefty with a left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic Burr. bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. So digging in, Jared Kellner. The right fielder, number 10, Jared Kellner. And a pitch. Just yep, missed Burke in his third season. He features a four seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and he works in a sinker. Ripped to short. Tosses across the first. Now one gone in the ninth. Up next for Seattle, the third baseman, Eugenio. Now the third baseman, Eugenio Suarez. Coming off an absolute bomb in his last at bat. And it's fouled away. The 0 1. Hey. Bullpen activity starting up now. Martin Perez getting loose out there. The pitch. And Whoa, ball one. Yeah. One run game here in the top of the ninth. The punch out there. Out number two. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching out of this staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get outs. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. And that one fouled off. Not looking like they'll be adding any insurance runs heading to the bottom of the ninth, so it's going to be on the bullpen to hold this lead. That's and now ball. it's even up. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Down and in, Hello. moved his feet. Right. Popped up first base side. Low makes the catch. And that is that. Three up, three down for him there. Two, three, four, set to hit in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Mariners two and the Rangers one. New pitcher for the Mariners, Paul Seawall. Save opportunity for him right here, and he's their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here with the W. And here's Corey Seager to hit. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. Here comes a pitch. That one finds the corner. That's strike one. And a pitch. Ground ball right side. Caballero tosses to first, oh. and Seeger is set down. That's a big first the out right there, the and that changes base. things. No, yeah, no. you can kind of see how just the oh. hope and optimism has shrunk a little bit, but they got a couple more outs to work with. They got to find a way to get a runner on and get one around the bases. Low. In the box now, take strike one. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. And the 0-2. Battling here as he fouls it away. And the pitch. Fights it off. He'll see another. 
A one run lead here in the last half of inning number nine. Not one close ball. with that two one. Strikes. It's a ball and two strikes. Gets a piece and stays alive. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Got him swinging. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just no, needs to let that. the ball travel the a little more, and his timing will be back That's on good track. Run. Good pitch for the strikeout. Garcia. Next up for Texas, Adolis Garcia. Picked up an RBI in his last at bat. Still their only run of the game so far. Strike one. Oh, one now, this is a real tough place for visiting teams to come in and close out ball games for a win. Here comes the 0-1. A little out front there as he swings two, through yeah. it. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. That misses the zone. Two it's strikes. a ball and two strikes. Home team down a run. Yeah, the home team trying to pull it out. Next pitch Whoa, misses outside, down. and it's two and two. Looking to get the tying run on base. And another ball. Big pitch coming right here. Last thing he wants to do is put the tying run on base, but he can't groove one either. Is just one strike away. Three. Got him, and that's the ball game. Great pitcher's duel in this one. You get to a certain point where each pitcher is trying to outdo the other, go a little bit deeper into the ball game. And for these guys, it really came down to a few key at bats. This was a fun one to watch. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.